If you know your way around After Effects, this effect is going to be really easy for you to pull off. If you're a bit more of a beginner, I really hope I have simplified it enough. This was a completely impromptu project, I did not plan it, um, I had used it in another project and thought to share, so I hope that I have been clear enough. Feel free to ask questions if you want. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So go ahead, open a new project and create a new composition. Name it, in this case I had my project name there and we're going with 1920 by 1080 um, just custom square pixels. I did 25 frames per second and just 10 seconds long. And just go ahead and choose your text. In my example I've written die first. This was part of the project that I was working on at the time. As you can see from the bo uh, beginning I had blood drip written so it can be whatever you want it to be. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer, so now we have two of the same text. Then on the top layer text, I've just gone ahead over on the right hand side to choose a lovely red colour to emulate the colour of blood. If you can't see where to change the colour, you might just have to drop down, you're looking for the character window. Okay, so I'm just going to choose the pen tool now and I'm just making a mask. I'm making um, something that looks kind of drippy and blood-like. Once again, it's just really, it's nothing too complicated going on here today. Um, so yeah, you can make it really look however you want it to look. Make sure that you are clicked on the text layer when you start drawing with that pen, otherwise you might have started with a shape layer. So you do want to be on the text layer. Great, once that is done, we need to animate our blood dripping down over the text. So we're gonna click the drop down on the text, we're gonna go to mask and we're gonna click the little stopwatch to put a keyframe in. This is going to hold where the path is and then I am moving it forward to just about five seconds and then I am taking hold of my mask and moving it down like a drip. Um, you can see here that it actually wasn't tall enough so I'm just going in adding another point and dragging it up so it's covering the whole text message. So you can see now that I have made that movement um, at that five second mark there is a new keyframe that means that we have an animation. Um, now I'm just playing it through and you can see that we have some sort of uh, blood dripping down effect. And I'm just going back and forth there to see how I felt about it. Wasn't using references, this was just, you know, I was just going with it. So you can probably notice I have this white outline on my text. This might not be like this for you, this might just be the particular text I was using, but I didn't like being able to see this white outline and um, my text had holes in it, I could see white underneath. I wanted to get rid of that. So you might be able to just skip this step altogether. This just depends on the text that you are using. So this is why I had a duplicate text. I am going to go ahead and copy the mask from the top one and paste it down onto the bottom one. So you can press Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Just make sure that you are in the exact same position with those keyframes. Um, otherwise, if it's in the, if it's you know, if you put it where the playhead is and paste, it's gonna paste further off. Also, just go ahead and make sure that inverted is checked on that mask. That's gonna make the two masks opposite from each other. Fabulous, so now we have blood dripping down text, hopefully. Um, 
the next thing that we are going to do is make a little blood drip. Um, right here I was just working out where the blood was hitting the bottom of the text first. Um, so I was working out where I wanted the little drips to come down. Um, so grabbing the pen tool once again and this time I am not on a layer down below. You can see I was not clicked on a layer so when I go ahead and use my pen tool I am making a shape layer. Um, and as you can see it's taken me a while to draw what I wanted to draw. But basically I just wanted a little drip mark going um, like a little raindrop but like blood. So just have a little play around as you can see it was taking me a little while to um, get those handles to cooperate with me. Um, yeah I mean you can also do a few of these if you want. I used the same shape for the three different drips that I do end up using but you can go ahead and get creative which I would encourage you to do to be honest. So here I now have something resembling a little raindrop so I am just going to click on that layer drop down the arrow and go into the transform tab and scale it down. I wanted it to be really little. You can go ahead and zoom in just like I did there um, down on the left side of the viewport. And yeah just place it where you want it. So I wanted it to um, scale it to something resembling a drip and yeah put it there and put a keyframe in on the position and that is going to be the first place where your blood drip appears. So I'm going to go ahead put in a keyframe at the position scale and opacity. So you can see here I have a keyframe on the left and that opacity is set to 0%. Then one frame later I have set it up to 100. This is going to give the illusion that it just appeared out of nowhere or dropped down rather. So moving forward a couple of frames and we are going to start moving um, where we want it to drip down to. I did that just by dragging the blue numbers there um, but you can also just manually drag it down into position. And you can see that now we have some keyframes that have been automatically generated and I'm just playing with the timing now. Um, playing it through to see how quickly I want that drip to be coming down off the text. You can also just go ahead and click motion blur on and then we are just going to duplicate this layer and repeat the process for um, the next drip. Um, I say repeat the process, it's really all I did was copy and paste some keyframes and move things around. You can just see that I adjusted the timing slightly and obviously adjusted where things started just in terms of where the drip was coming down. Yeah, it doesn't have to be complicated. I hope it's not too complicated. Um, this was a little bit impromptu. Um, maybe next time I'll get something set up where we can see what keys I'm pressing and things because I'm terrible at explaining things. But you know what? I'm just going to go with it. So do let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to clarify things. Maybe because like I said this really wasn't planned too far ahead of time. Anyway here we have it. I have our lovely text with the blood dripping down and three drips coming off it. I really hope this was at least a little bit easy for you to follow and hopefully this might just help someone out there. If you made it this far then thank you so much for watching and good luck with whatever project you are working on. 
hopefully I will see you again in the next video. Bye guys.